I think. Probably. I think. Yeah, he I'll has be. played it a few times on stream. Mega Man? In the game, Mega Man, not the character. God. Well, yeah. I would, I would, I would not want to see Vlad as Mega Man. I don't think Vlad. I mean. I don't think Vlad wants to see his Mega Man. I was either. like, I don't know if Vlad has a Mega Man. I mean, I've seen Vlad. the only Sanguinar I know of is the Mario. Yeah, the Incineroar. Oh, the Incin. The uh, rare Game and Watch SSR rare. That does sound quite cursed. The Vlad it was very Game cursed. <laughs> the Vlad and Game and Watch. Yeah, uh, right. Gimmick put it back in the bin. Good. All right. <laughs> Uh, we're here to small battlefield rather than uh, PS2. Giving uh, well, technically like, PS2 is not a start at this tournament. Yeah, but every gentleman's to it. Yeah. I mean, I like it. I like camping when I need to camp. True. I don't like this stage. I die easy. True, true, true. Well, Bobby Wasabi though, off to an early lead. Yeah, I think the thing about Vlad is that thumbnails are really amazing, but it's game knowledge kind of in the lacking department. So this might be. A match where Bobby Wasabi kind of gets away with a few things until Vlad just kind of decides to put those fundamentals. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of curious, you know, to see how, like, because Villager does want to, like, constantly run away in zone, but, like, mm -hmm. Vlad like the, is so The pair is, like, about... really good at just kind of poking people Ooh, away. Real, really good up smash on yeah. the neutral get up there from Vlad and just killing him immediately. Still, though, now he's on ledge. See if yeah. he can get out. Okay, gets yeah, over the tree. Yeah, very situation, because if you go too far down, then that's, you know, up smash oh, range. And that kills? Oh my gosh, and he gets away from both of them. Okay. Yeah. and That's where Lucido's flow just kind of comes into play. You kind of are able to dodge some of these forward airs and back airs just with her, you know, the way she controls in the air alone. Yeah, I know. This, I mean, I feel like people don't often talk about, like, Lucido's air mobility, but, like, that is really yeah. good. Really. It's very graceful, but also just, like, it works in a lot of matchups that, like, somebody has a terrible jump height. Yep. Or just has terrible aerials and can't deal with it. Okay. Bobby, though, looking... Mr. Wasabi looking yeah, for these looking for these openings and trying to put these uh, setups into play to kind of force them, but they're not happening at all. Yeah, Vlad's having none of it and letting nothing happen here. Oh! Oh, he tried to just go for it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> tried to grab his little hand. Oh, try to go for the down Stick. tilt into something else. Yeah. Oh, tries to go for the no, grab. No, not a dash grab, unfortunately. Oh, it was a beautiful spot dodge on that, too. Because that would have buried him. Yeah. Oh, that would actually that would have killed because that's down tilt. Yeah, yeah, down tilt. Yeah, it sends it sends you up, but that that's a kill. Or yeah, that is. Yeah, it it, is it kill. does kill. Yeah, it does kill. It does kill. Okay, it was like, relatively early. It's like he's got the down tilt that also digs, and then the down smash that literally digs on both sides. Oh my gosh! Just, yeah. Really yeah, good stuff from Mulan to jump over that crab and get the nair. So I mean, eventually you kind of whittle down what you need to see as a Ooh, player or as a character. Yeah. And right now, I don't even know what Wasabi's looking for. I mean, I wouldn't know either just because I don't know anything about this character. Okay, he gets the reverse on the axe now. Yeah, nice. Tree is disappearing. Still, though. a chance to put another one if he has the time to put it down, but Vlad's not even giving him the time to. No, and that's the thing. Lucina can just constantly stay on him with this big sword, and mm -hmm. I mean, not even particularly big sword, but just sword, and then. Yeah. What's... It's enough of the disjoint, and he sort of contests his forward air. Nair as well contests most of his kit, and then you know, let's say Bobby Swabby touches his shield incorrectly, oh, that's an up B. Yeah. Ooh, trying to catch yeah. that air dodge right there. I really love to see that kind of stuff too, because you know, without a jump off stage, that's where Villager wants Lucina. And I mean, you see actually Vladin going for a lot of double jumps in neutral here, so you know, there is the real worry like, okay, you know, what if you get caught by yeah. Villager Fair Bear and you you're off stage, a, then it's. Yeah. It's one stray hit from a pellet, or you know, one shield break if you kept that shield up on that tree. Yeah, and that tree does mad damage. Okay, first hit of the tree. Respecting the zone. Oh, and tries to go over the second one, but yeah, yeah, it disappears too quickly. Yeah, once that thing starts to turn a little bit brown, like the ball leaves, it's gone. You can't really do much about Ooh. it. Ooh, trying to get something off that one. Oh, it gets away out of this that. This is it. Oh. oh, and we're Wi-Fi, folks. We are Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, we're handing Bobby Wasabi a yellow card for all that match. <laughs> Still, though, not too shabby. All things oh, yeah, oh. this is the setup that we've been seeing from Bobby Wasabi. It's like where you're just like, you let your guard down and there's a tree up and then you just all of a sudden take like 50 damage. Yeah. 40 in uh, Vlad's case. Bobby Wasabi could make this reverse comeback. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was. I mean, the thing is, like, with these kind of characters, if you start, say, if you lose your patience and start just being a little bit too antsy or want that kill too quickly, you're gone. Yeah, and I mean, villagers like 
doing so like he's just so solid in his defense. Yeah, and he's of this already tree. got the lead almost back already. Yeah, just two percent, well, less than two percent now separates yeah. both of these players. Oh, projectile for Lucina? No, I'm not gonna get the projectile. And now, ah. bam, <laughs> slobbing the lead after all that. After that hard all work, that, the poor nine to five character Luc Lucina. Yeah, so honest. So honest. <laughs> Oh, that's unfortunate. We put the shield up, and then that's something. Oh, and yep, and there's the yep, there's the bowling ball, and that is the reverse three stock. Yeah, coming in for Bobby Wasabi. Very yeah, well played. Keep all calm things and carry on. Yeah. He digs up that uh, fossil, I yeah, guess. That, yeah, fossil. It's probably a duplicate fossil, but hey, you got it, I guess. Cool. Cool stuff. Maybe going you could trade him. it with somebody else. And the answer for Ruladin is Smashville. I can kind of see it. Yeah. It kind of forces, you know, Bobby Swabby to kind of pick a lane in terms of what he wants to cover the platform and cover right below it. It might also help with uh, Vladen's edge guarding, but it also means, you know, F smash off stage. Yeah. That's uh, definitely something to be even more worried about. Or even F smash on that top platform. I've seen villagers go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I've definitely seen it. I mean, he even went for it on Small Battlefield last yeah. game, so. Okay, mm -hmm. reads the neutral get up. Yeah. Good down throw. Hey, my, yeah. Here with the turnips, stock price is going up. Yeah, really, just controlling all the stock. I mean, yeah. There's, there's not a lot of you know terrain on small battlefields or not small battlefields, Smashville too. Yeah. So it's like anything that he's able to get just by planting the tree and just, yeah, just throwing out Lloyd. Yeah, just being able to kind of expand the zone between the Lloyd Rock and the tree and even the fair. It's right there, difficult. forcing Ooh. him to jump, because if he did a neutral get-up or a roll, he would have been caught and died. Yeah, when he eats so many fares yeah, in a row, and, and there's the axe. Into the axe. And that's first stock going over to Mr. Wasabi this time. Oh, okay, Vlad's kind of just bobbing and weaving. We've seen a lot of bobbing and weaving when it comes to like, the horizontal play, but uh, Vlad's kind of doing that in the air instead with how he kind of drifts down. Yeah, but still, though, he's not able to find anything despite all that. Yeah, getting grabbed. Gets grabbed, gets the dolphin slash out of shield, but it's not looking too hot for him. Yeah, trying oh. to get the. You can't quite get that easy edge guard on Villager because he's got enough control right there. Yeah, no, I really like you know just like hanging out like by the pineapple. Oh. Gotcha. All right, All right C Sharp has last. has redemption time. Time to redeem himself. We'll see if Uladin is able to redeem himself here in this. Game two now, 145% on Bobby, who's really just needs to like find some way in. I mean, it's just so solid. This these fairs coming out here, the Lloyd Rocket tries to go put down the bowling ball, but it's not going to do anything. Gets hit by Lloyd though, but he finally gets caught by a grab. The up throw still not enough, but the up air is going to be enough. Two stocks apiece, 91% though to Vuladin. Bobby Wasabi here. Yeah, just sets up his tree. Just chills, lays back, and... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Just gonna be the axe and the tree falling over, and Buladin is gonna be on his last stock of game two here. We'll see if he's able to make this comeback as well, but it's looking a little bit less likely. Only able to find just temporary chip damage onto Bobby versus he's consistently able to get these fares. Good fare though coming out from Vlad and able to actually get into him this time. Dancing Blade isn't going to get anything though. Oh my gosh, the Lloyd into that fare, into the up air. Some big stonks coming in here for this villager. Feels bad man indeed. Turnip isn't going to connect this time perhaps. Yeah, no, maybe he can get some way in. I don't know. It's looking rough, dude. Here, yeah, Villager just sets up the tree. Okay, this time the Vladin is able to actually get past it, but he eats the jab in response. Every time he finds a way through one of these defenses, every time he can bob and weave, there, you know, Villager is surprisingly fast on this frame, dude, especially that jab, especially the Nair. Even Fair and Bear are pretty fast, too. Like, just able to like constantly answer him, even every time Vulan gets through, and this time, you know, just jabbing every time you can see him. Another tree set up, Lloyd Rocket sent out. Vuladin spot dodging Lloyd, but unable to get it any for it. Okay, that time though, uh, Bobby Sabi unable to punish there. Okay, he's got him on ledge now. 
Tries to bowling ball, but the bowling ball barely misses. Gulanen goes off stage. He needed to get that one. If he doesn't go off stage there to get the kill, it would be dire straits. Still, 113%. Gulanen. Can he get through the defenses? Or will Bobby Wasabi hold firm in here in game two? Tree set up once again. Just using like the tree's pressure to his advantage so much. Like literally just you see Gulanen constantly being forced to jump all the time because he's just trying to get over him to get some semblance of damage onto him. 131% doesn't require a lot more to damage. That's like an up air. Like a sweet spot up air with the three turnips. Perhaps he gets him, yeah, the three turnips. Yep, that'll be it. And that's going to be game two now going over to Bobby Wasabi. Really solid stuff from him. Guladin just trying his best to get in, but it's just looking increasingly difficult as Bobby continues to find his groove. And so far we are 2-0 now in winter semis. And it is going to still be the Lucina for Vuladin. I did not expect the swap, but, you know, who knows? Game 3 seems a little bit dire. Because it seems like Vuladin hasn't been able to figure out the way in yet. Small battlefield, though. Perhaps the way in is through these platforms. Okay, but already... Wow. Really good stuff, though. Just... Knowing his exact moves, you know, just getting fair and just knowing he's gonna, okay. He has to land right here, just get the grabs. Okay, this time though, Bob Wasabi not able to get an, as much setup as he was on Smashville. That one lane really, I think, helping him out last game, but... So Vulana is able to do a little bit more work this time. Still though, trading with these Lloyd Rockets for way back on the stage. Bobby uses the tree to just try to get back on the stage, just using the axe to his advantage. Now though, being sent off stage... I don't know. Yeah, no, every time Vulana tries to approach like that, he's just consistently eating more damage. Runs up again with the water can. And already one chop of the tree there, setting up once again. Just dancing in front of his tree, just being able to do something. Bowling ball is not, I don't know what that was about. But the up air, the three turnips coming in now. Ball's off there. Okay, but this time, all right, Vuladin has some life in him. He's able to go off stage and get the fair off stage. Looking for some more damage here. Very good to find the kill early so that this doesn't turn into just some grind out with just constantly eating Lloyd Rockets and trying to just have to jump around it and everything. Vulano gets grabbed. Has to jump over the tree once again. You know, we've been noting that tree forces people to jump, but that axe is just so strong. And that's going to be another stock going the way of him. Ooh, massive seal damage there, but Vulano is going to stand firm. Not the environmentalist, doesn't need to fear any trees. Okay, though. Ooh, barely not getting hit by that tree there. Glenn's gotta be careful though. He's okay, no, he's in a good position now. Juggling away Bobby Wasabi. Bobby though, now actually, you know, it seems to be... Yeah, Bobby now is actually in a bad position now. He hasn't been able to get any of his setups on this stock at least. Guladin sending him off stage, trading with Lloyd Rockets, and going down deep for the bear, and that's going to be two stocks to one now. Guladin looking a little bit more comfortable, perhaps, on small battlefield. But still, though, we've seen how dangerous this villager can be. If he's able to get the setups with the tree, just holding his own, spamming out these fairs, spamming out Lloyd Rockets. Okay, tree disappearing now. Using that wall jump to just get some more chip damage. Try to just fish out for these fairs. Good grab. Every single time they've been having the slightest bit of interactions. Just immediately just going for these grabs constantly. Really good stuff from Bobby. But still, Vladin in somewhat of a lead. Now, sort of keeping, turning his back towards the tree. Ah, but eats the up air. Eats another fair. And another sampling is in setup. And the, that's the thing with the tree. Extending the hitbox of F-Smash here. Just doing so much, and oh my gosh, and Vladin straight up eats 
A tree to the face. That's 44%. This game is even all over again. But it felt like Vulanen had such a commanding, really. Not commandingly, but he had a lead. Bobby able to get back on the stage, gets another tree out. Just getting his Lloyd Rocket set up. Yeah, just every time, you know, he knows he needs to jump over the tree, you know, to get anywhere. And just being always ready with those up airs. It is really difficult to see how he's going to be able to actually get around all this stuff. Sampling's on the ground. Not into a tree yet. Opting instead to fish out for these, okay, these Lloyd Rockets. Okay, tree's out. Axe is out. Blocks the Lloyd Rocket. Holds shield again on the tree directly. That looked potentially risky here for Vladin. Gosh, yeah, Bobby's just running back and forth, just dancing on him. It's Vladin. There's not much he can do here. The axe barely missing out there. Oh my gosh. But he just snipes him there with the up air. Oh my god. Vladin just gets annihilated there. And that's going to be the 3-0 coming in for Bobby Wasabi. Bobby going to get at least guaranteed top three. Guaranteed himself in the money for these Smash World Tour points. So good set to both players.